This is 25-year-old Steph. She fell in love with 70-year-old Don. I loved him like the second I saw his face. Everybody should date someone 45 years older than them. With a 45-year age gap, the couple have had to get used to being judged because of their relationship. People always tell me he's gaslighting you, he's or grooming you, um, you need to get help and get out. Even Stephanie's family have struggled to get on board with someone so old being with their daughter. So it was a little shocking, with Don being the same age as Dad. Now married and with a two-year-old son, will the couple ever be free of judgement? And what about the additional consequences of dating someone so much older? I told him, I said, don't you dare die in your sleep. Oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. Don't do that to me. Somebody told me that I was, um, I was rushing my life by getting married so young and having kids so young. And they said that I was missing out on the things that I should be doing in my 20s. And it's like, what should I be doing? Like, who's to even say what that is, right? Partying doesn't appeal to me. I don't do drugs. I don't like to get blackout drunk. So what else would I be doing? If anything, getting married and having Lachlan, it's made me feel much more fulfilled. So um, to be honest, I think I made the best decision possible that I could have made. We've been together coming up on five years and we've been married for a year and a half. Just five years ago, Stephanie was working at a local pub when Don walked in and changed her life forever. Oh man, I loved him like the second I saw his face. And it was super weird because then I was like, oh my God, this guy's like at least 30 years older than me. But I don't know, I just thought he was so handsome and he was charming and super flirty. And um, I don't know, it just made me happy. Every time he came in, I was just so happy, so. And it wasn't long before romance blossomed between the two. Yeah, I think it was a Friday night. We played some pool and we danced and... Yeah, he spent the night at my house. But having 45 years separating the two in age, the news that they were dating came as quite a shock to many. Especially those closest to Stephanie, who was just 20 years old at the time. My mom was not a fan at all. My dad was not a fan. My brother was absolutely not a fan as well. So nobody was really on Dawn's team. Um, your sister took it pretty good. Oh yeah, my family had been just, it's whatever. I think for my side of the family, they were a little bit like, whoa, like, <laughs> what are you doing, you know? Stop and um, rethink this. Yeah, they thought I was making a mistake or I got myself into a situation. The first time when Stephanie came forward and told told me that uh, she was dating a man who actually was the same age as her father. It was um, a little shocking. I was not happy at first. I, I felt that Stephanie was um, losing out on a chance to meet somebody that she could grow old with because she was with somebody who was already old. Go hide, honey. You're, you're allowed to. Well, I have to yell over top of him <laughs> so you can hear me. <laughs> You'll hear you, don't worry. Lock Never actually told her not to date him, but she knew from the very beginning that yes, I wasn't happy about it. As a couple are now fully committed into their relationship, their respective families are coming around to the match. So it was a little shocking. With Don being the same age as Dad. <laughs> yeah. It just seemed a little different. Yeah. Right? So. I mean, it makes sense, but. I mean, I, to be honest with you, if you, when you said some dating somebody older, you know, I would have thought 10 years older was older. Mm-hmm. But it was different once we, once I met Dawn, and, and it was even more different once I saw the two of you together and how you interacted. Mm -hmm. One friend said I was going through a phase. She's like, don't well, worry, she's going through a phase. It'll allow, you know, give it a couple months, no. she'll be over it. 
<laughs> and it's also one of those situations, I think, that I, I would say, in a way, um, you know, it's always, it's always easy to sit back and judge with, when, when you don't, when you're not involved in a situation or you don't know the situation, right? It's easy to sit The back. unfortunate thing is that I guess we felt, or I felt, um, her time with Don would be limited. With a couple trying to lead a normal life together, raising their son, they've often found it hard going out in public together. If I have Lachlan out for a walk or something and someone says, oh, grandpa's got the little boy out today, I don't even correct them. Well, I've always been like loud and proud and I just don't care. <laughs> so yeah, I'd grab his hand, he'd like let go and I'd be like, oh no, like you're gonna hold my hand. You're my boyfriend. I really don't care what people on the street say about it. People used to be awful, like so awful. I just can't even believe it. A few of these. Today they're headed to soft play with their son. I have never been to soft play. But going to the play place, people will may stare. They may just think grandpa's along for the ride for the day. But after five years of this, we just go and do our thing and we don't concern about, you know, what's going on around us too much. We're having fun, and I don't even notice if there's other people around us or... Like, I used to look for them and be like, oh, someone's staring, who's staring? See how far you can throw it, honey? Throw it really far! Good one. Sometimes I like to call them out on it, and I'm like, like, did you have a question? I've noticed you've been staring at me for 25 minutes. And they never do, they never say anything, so... I don't know. My first impressions were that it was a grandfather with his daughter and grandchild. If she was in love and happy and he treated her the way that she should be treated, that's good. Dating a man much older than her, Stephanie has found she's been subjected to many stereotypes that go along with her type of relationship. The worst stereotype? Oof. Oh, okay, so this is a fun one. Everybody seems to say I am in this for a life insurance check and uh, I'm a gold digger. Like, we live in a house that my dad gave me and I have a job, like I work full time. And with Don now in his 70s, the couple are having to face more than just judgment due to his age. Not all, but a lot of my beer drinking buddies who around my age are just passing away a couple or three this year. I've never been afraid of going to that place. No. It just happens. And there's no point in worrying about it or being scared of it because then it's just going to ruin every day. I'll try and give you some warning. Please, don't. <laughs> I told him, I said, don't you dare die in your sleep. <laughs> oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. No don't last do words. that to me. <laughs> People always tell me, they're like, um, I'll pray for you. Like, I'm sorry, like, you're in a really scary situation. Mm -hmm. He's gaslighting you. He's or grooming you. Um, you need to, you know, you need to talk to somebody and get help and get out. Like, you're in a really toxic relationship. And I was like, <laughs> all right, so here's a guy who puts gas in my car, brings me home flowers. He puts cute little sticky notes on my mirror. Um, he rubs my feet or my back every night after work. Uh, what else do you do? Man, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Despite the many factors going against their relationship, Don and Stephanie are out to prove that love knows no boundaries and they're not shy about it. Ooh, baby, how are we gonna prove the haters wrong? I don't think we have to prove it. We'll That's my biggest thing. Show is them by living your life uh, best you can and raise the son the best we can and, and show them that it's going to be a success. We choose, I guess, not to hide our relationship because why? Would you hide yours? Like, would anybody hide their relationship? 